All right, so welcome everyone to today's webinar. Um, today we'll be looking at how to navigate the online workbook of the Ventures ESL text. Um, all of our videos will be available at this link in blue um, by next week. We'll also post it onto our website and you'll get notified uh, about it there as well. So for this meeting, um, we will look at two objectives. Uh, first is to navigate between units and lessons on the Ventures online workbook. And then the second thing is we'll give time for everyone to compare uh, targeted skills from the online workbook with the printed version. Um, you will notice that the material is slightly different between the online workbook and the printed version, but the skills are the same. All right. So first we'll look at the online book um, and we'll talk about how to navigate it. Um, and this is the website that we use in order to navigate the book. But before we dive into the website. Let's go over the difference between units versus lessons. Um, so in the Ventures book, the printed version and the online ebook, units are larger chunks and are united by a thematic topics. And lessons are embedded within the units. And these lessons target specific language skills. Um, so what does that look like? If you have your Ventures book in front of you, these are the units for all of the different levels. The topics are all the same for all the different levels. And this is also true in the ebook version. And then within each unit, say within the personal information unit, unit one, we will see six different lesson blocks. And these are the language skills that are targeted within each of these lesson blocks. So we have listening, um, two lesson blocks are dedicated to grammar, one for reading, one for writing. And then in lesson block F, the final lesson block, there is a life skills reading activity and then a wrap up. Lesson block F is, um, can be used as a review. It can also be used as an end of unit assessment as well. And again, these lesson blocks are the same in the book, the printed version, as well as in the online ebook. Um, so just to give you an example, this is the Ventures book. Um, this is level three, right? So we see lesson block A, right? All of them are um, labeled in this manner. And you'll see listening next to lesson block A. And then in the same unit, um, I'm gonna jump to lesson block B. Right, we'll see the grammar that's being identified, uh, which are verbs and gerunds. And C, also another grammar focus on comparison words. In D, we have reading. In E, we have writing. And then finally in F, this is the wrap up lesson block. So let's look at um, the online version of this. So I'm gonna copy and paste this link onto my browser. Uh, when you first enter the link into your browser, 
you're going to see this. Um, and really, you can click on anything at the very beginning. And I mentioned this last time. It doesn't have to be ventures, but I'm going to type in ventures anyways. Uh, once you click go, then you'll be um, uh, redirected to the login screen. So I already have my password and my username saved. So I'm just going to log in. And for those of you um, who don't know how to log in, we talked about making an account in the first webinar. Um, so please refer to that video. All right, so now I'm in my main screen. Um, the first thing you want to do is just make sure that you're in the teaching portal and not the my learning portal. Because you want to access this as as a teacher. All right. I'm going to add one more. Just to show everyone again. So let's say I want to add Level three. All right, so I just added my level three book. Okay. Um, and I was showing you the images from this book earlier. So I'm mm -hmm. going to click on it. Let's see what it looks like. So to go over the material in your book, you're going to have to click content. Right. Um, and then you'll see once you click content, if you scroll down, you'll see the unit numbers and then they'll have all of the lessons. Okay. And again, um, each unit has lessons A through F, right? So you can see it's, it's very long. Um, and then let's say I click on Say I click on unit one, lesson A. Now you see the different exercises have popped up. So let's say I click on this one. Uh, and so this is unit one, lesson A, exercise one. Right, so it's got text. This is the listening lesson block. Um, so there's... Juliana and Annika are friends. Oh, great. Right. There's a listening that they can do. And then they can fill in um, the vocabulary terms that they're listening to. Wait, Robert, can they... Can they download this book or is it only when we are teaching them? It's only when you're teaching them. Okay. Um, but what's nice is that once you work on this with them, yeah. they can go into their own books and then they can do the same thing in their own books. Okay, got it. And it's not repetitive because in their books, it's slightly different. So, yes, but Robert, uh, uh, won't they be reading it to themselves rather than having an audio portion? Yeah, they can't listen. Yeah, that's that's correct. Um, they won't they won't be able to listen if they're using their books. Um, they'll only be able to read it. However, if they have the CD, which all of the books do in the back, and they have a CD player, and they know how to navigate that, that's that's where the tricky part is. Um, and they actually can listen to it as well. Oh, okay. 
Great. You can also listen to it online. There's a separate website for them to listen to the audio in their book. Um, and if anybody wants to, to see how you can do that, um, I'd be happy to show you. Uh, so the audio is also available online as well. So if you look at the printed version, this is lesson A. Right. You, you see that there are only two pages for lesson A. Um, whereas, I'm going to pop out the contents here. Whereas, um, in the online version, there's five exercises. Uh, and I think that cumulatively, there's more to do in the five exercises than there is in the two pages in the printed version. Great. That's great. Um, and the topic and the vocabulary is the same. So here, it doesn't show, it doesn't list all the vocabulary nicely. So I'm going to go to exercise two. All right, so I'm going to just put them side by side so that you can see how they compare. Right, you can see that the vocabulary is the same. The topic is the same. The topic is about personality types. Um, so we can take a look at one more example. Let's go to lesson B. And lesson B, if you can recall, that's where we introduced the grammar point. All right, so this is lesson B right here. This is uh, the first exercise. Can anybody recognize the grammar point? Talking about gerunds here. Right. For example, playing, doing, and getting up. So then if you compare the book, right, it's the same thing. They're also talking about verbs and gerunds. And you can see that here. So again, it, the printed version and the online version, they're slightly different. Um, and I think that's because they're meant to complement each other. Okay. But the language skills are exactly the same. All right, so if you're going over this and your student's able to complete this, then they should also be able to complete um, the printed version as well. So the printed could be for homework and you could do the other one in class together. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so that's that's what that looks like. So okay. just compared language skills. And we just compared language skills in both the ebook and the printed book. Okay, so right now I'm in unit one, lesson A, exercise one. If I want to move ahead to exercise two. I can go to the top and click on the right arrow over here. If you want to go back to the previous exercise, you can click on the left arrow on the top left. 
You can also skip exercises and even entire lesson blocks. To do so, go to the top left of your screen and click on content. Now I can jump over to exercise five if I want to in unit one, lesson block A, or I can go to an entirely different lesson block, like lesson block B. And there you have it. That's how you navigate between units and lesson blocks in the online ventures book. So today we looked at how to navigate between units and lessons on the ventures online book. We also compared um, different skills that are being targeted in the online book and the printed version. As mentioned, the content is slightly different because they're meant to complement each other. You can use the online workbook in class and then you can assign homework using um, material from the printed book. The skills that are being targeted are going to be the same in the online book and the printed copy. For homework, I want you to do three things to give you a chance to explore the ebook. You're gonna look up the vocabulary words that are used in unit three, lesson block A. You're gonna identify the grammar point in unit three, lesson block B. And also the writing prompt in unit three, lesson block E. Feel free to use any level Ventures book from basic all the way to level four. You can email me your answers or ask for assistance at this address. Thank you so much for joining us today. Have a wonderful holiday break.